I posted this picture and I never expected it to go viral. How I grew from 100 followers to 3,000. I just bought the back end and I ain't front now. I ain't mean to stun on these niggas. Brand new Bentley, that's a couple sick figure. Brought the gang in the party at a couple of these bitches if I want. Boss Brad purse. It's the Boss Brad extension. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here or you found me by luck, go ahead and be a part of the gang. Subscribe now and go back to my last video. Check out the first video before you get into the second one because you'll miss all to start a business. So from my last video, episode one, and now we're finna get into episode two. But if you are a returning subscriber, if you are part of the gang, then say it with me, what's the deal? Hold on, what's popping? What's up? I'm Nelly, and we finna get into this business. Period. Period. So I know I've been in my I'm so sorry. I let me explain that real quick before we get into the video. I've been in my egg because I've been working on my business. Y'all know that I was rebranded for like I want to say like three or four months, and then in that process, I was going through summer school because you guys know I am right now enrolled in college and I'm trying to get my bachelor's in biology with the emphasis of pre med. Your girl want to be a doctor, I need all my coins. Period. So, um yeah and i just i just been going through a lot like it's just been a lot before we get into the video um i need you guys to go on my website and shop the biani bag bomb as fuck oh yeah boss brat period y'all the branding is there shop the boss brat way period shop the biani bag it comes in black gold and rose gold it's so bomb period it's only 47 dollars Period, but you can wear like a little like, or you can wear like as a shoulder, little shoulder handle thing. And yeah, it's so cute. It's so much storage. Just shop, okay? But we're gonna get into some of my secrets, stuff that I sell to people. Like in my business one on ones, I give this to people. So it's like y'all getting it for free. It's crazy. And we're going to talk about how to increase your following on your business page. How to increase revenue, how to increase your followers, your likes, comments, all that we're going to talk about. Because, girl, I got the fucking, ooh, you can't cuss. The secrets. I have the key to success, period, DJ Khaled keys um so i have my laptop off to the side so if you guys see me glancing it's just so i can stay on track and we won't be all over the place started my business in 2019 around august and i want to i want to say i launched in like between the 18th and the, like the 22nd a boss brat collection now i've been had boss brat i have boss brat since like 2019 no 2018 i'm sorry but Boss Brat Collection was born in August of 2019. Just don't know the date. I'll put it right here when I find it. But anyway, so when I first launched my business, I didn't even like really, I had theme colors and like, you know, branding and all that. But it wasn't as how I have it now where it's specific, it's unique, it's authentic. I mean, my brand, my whole brand been authentic since the beginning, but it wasn't, it didn't have that, mm, like, you know how you go to Target and you know it's Target because it's that, you know, red little Target. You know, if you go to Walmart, it's blue and gold. You, you know, like certain stuff like that, you just know that's their brand. You know, nobody really knew that's Boss Brad. Like, I had, like, little things to help me, but it wasn't all the way there. Hey, it's there now. So, um, anyway, so in the beginning when I had my business, I, of course, I had it on GoDaddy. And GoDaddy was so inexpensive. It's really, it was really cheap. Honestly, all the website domains is the same thing. You're going to be paying $20 and up. My 100 subscribers, it doesn't tell me today, but I, like, somewhere in, like, September or August, our subscribers was... 100 subscribers oh my god 
go back. 100 followers on Instagram. And this was around August or September. And I'm going to put the day where I actually reached it. I don't really know. I'm going to go back. But anyway, that's the day I reached it. And it was just full of family and friends. So this is just me promoting it to my family and friends. So 100 people of my family and friends and other people who have shared it for me. Um, that's who followed me, the first 100. So as time went on, I just really tried to promote, promote, promote. So from 100 to about like 500, 600 um it was all me so what i was doing i was just promoting on my regular page which is called her nelly and then i was promoting it on box rack collection my business page and i would just always um use um little cute pictures and i would post on my story like follow me and like can you post this and a lot of things that you should do when you first launch your business i think you should always have your friends your family anybody that supports you um repost your business because that's how you get it started that's how you get people to come and look at what you're doing and stuff like that that's how i started for me and it worked um a lot of my friends support me period from high school from middle school from elementary even my mom's um friends and family and all of them they support me and my dad's side as well everybody supported me so like Getting to like 100 and 200 followers was very easy for me because I come from a big family. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and you know, everybody know everybody. So it's like 100 is nothing. Anyways, but yeah, I got to 100. So 100 to 600, it was just all like just promoting like, oh, can you repost this for me? Oh, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do that? Well, around the time I did 700 mark, I was trying to find out new ways to promote my business. So I watched Bougie Barbie. I love her. I love her. I love her. I watched Bougie Barbie and she was like, do hashtags, do hashtags, do hashtags. And I'm sitting here like, if y'all ever go on Instagram and y'all see people who hashtag, it's just corny. So I'm like, I'm not going to do that. And then I started looking at her stuff and I've been following Bougie Barbie since for a long time. And when I say she blew up overnight, like literally, it wasn't overnight, but it was overnight to me because I had stopped watching her for a cool minute and I went back to watch her. She had like dummy followers. It, it just, her business page blew up. But anyway, so she, I'm like, let me listen to her. So I start hashtagging. So I put a picture of like my first very hashtags. Boom. Okay, so I was hashtagging, girl. I was hashtagging first size. I was hashtagging fluffy first size. Um, first size LA, first size, I was just first size, first size, fluffy, fluffy, furry, all that. I was tagging and I was starting to see like my, um, my insights go up so far as like comments and people sending it to people and saving people, it was going up. So then I'll post it in here, right? This is before the hashtags. This is after the hashtags. Excuse me. So then I start saying like, damn, my insights are going up. That's crazy. That's dope. Okay. So I got it now. So now I now like I now I'm in the like the 800. Now I'm in the 700, hitting like 900. So now I'm going crazy with the hashtag. So what I used to do, I used to hashtag first life, first life, and I used to um do hashtags that was in between at least like 10,000 to like a thousand or 500 or maybe even a hundred but i stayed in that range i didn't go hashtagging the hashtags that's like a million two million one hundred thousand i wasn't doing those hashtags because why when you click a hashtag and you go to it the most popular picture will show up so i can't be a little small business competing with a person who has a business that's averaging a hundred thousand likes it's not gonna work you know it's just not gonna work so i just started off with the baby hashtags and i will always make sure that the hashtag was at like ten thousand or like eleven thousand something that i could easily you know grow with my posts like explode i used to make sure my hashtags were exactly what I was selling to my audience. So I was selling first size. So I was hashtagging anything first size, girl. First like this, first like that, fluffy this, fluffy that. Like it was all fluffy, furry, fluffy, furry, 
anything around first life i was hashtagging and then i got a little bit smarter so what i started to do was hashtag different states different cities so different people from different parts of the united states could see me even internationally could see me so i started hashtagging like miami love and i started getting um hashtags of cities that were in between you know twenty thousand to like maybe a thousand views or whatever they whatever you call it it was in between that it wasn't the a million hashtag it wasn't out of my range it was where i could you know capitalize off of it and when i say i started getting sales crazy i mean sales 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 it was a lot of sales and i was getting sales from let me look in new york i was getting sales from new york a lot a lot of new york sales i was getting sales from like texas i was getting sales from north carolina i was getting sales from cali from vegas it was just going up for my business a very long time i cannot get an order i couldn't get nothing i couldn't get a like i couldn't get a comment and i was just very like in august i was very like low on my motivation like i was like i don't know if i really want to do this like nobody is like supporting me like nobody's liking my pictures like it's probably one person but it's like damn like i just look embarrassing and i hated that and now this is what my insights look like so them insights the reason why it blew up like how it blew up is because the way i caption it and the way i post my pictures so i used to find little pretty girls on pinterest like jada and like other little famous people that used to wear first life i used to post them so this is like what the picture would look like then in the caption i'll be like shop the look um get the same look and i would talk about like how the first size my first size are called Carmel. You can shop, you get the same look as Jada, be cute. I sell them. And I will always put in a disclaimer that this is not my photo. So people can't come back and be like, you used me and you said all I was wearing your flirt. No, 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 no. So I used to use outfit info so a lot because a lot of girls like me, I always be like, I need a new outfit. So I'll do the hashtag and find cute outfits. So I started using that and I just started getting more and more exposure. Plus, if somebody see a picture of a celebrity, they're going to automatically like you. That's just it. So now this is what the in insights look like on that picture. Another thing that blew me up, so I used to um, promote, well, I still promote my girl boss um, services. So you guys know that I provide services as far as getting on the phone and calling. And also, um, I provide vendors and various of things I just provide. So I used to like do the same thing on Pinterest, find girl bosses that have like orders all over the place and like just, you know, success. They're showing off their success. So I will always put that picture and then and that you have started your business and you have 50 orders and da, da, da. I just gave like a good ass scenario like oh my god like yeah I can imagine me with 50 orders on Shopify and I'm a boss da, da, da. I just gave this illusion right and then I suckered them in like okay we'll start your business day business today sis and book a session with me or buy a vendor for me and start you know start your business so then I will always put follow us because normally when you click a hashtag and you see like a cute picture you don't always click on the person page so like if you're reading the the caption and they got like an app page you normally click on that then like the actual app if you know what i'm talking about so i will always put at boss Brad collection folks at boss Brad collection and i'll put the website down below and i'll put like website because my business i cannot tag um my website on store on my story so i find that it's more helpful to put it in the caption so they can be like oh, okay the website is this follow them at this okay and then i will always separate you want to keep everything neat i didn't like the hashtags touching everything else i just wanted to stay more organized i wanted you to have the caption boom 
our information so following this the website boom separate it and then hashtags at the end so it made my business look clean so it wasn't all hashtag 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 you didn't feel overwhelmed when you read the caption okay we helped and i had posted this picture and i never expected it to go viral but it's always the photos that you don't really give a about that goes viral like why so this photo went viral like it just went so this photo went viral like viral like changed my whole life and i will always receive like 100 likes 100 likes 100 likes it just came 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 so what i put in the caption i put imagine this is you and you've just gotten 50 plus orders on your shopify website crazy right i know you have a dream sis now now it is time to put it to life start the business sis become your own ceo fulfilling orders and creating a successful business dm us if you are ready and serious and again i will put the web i will separate it and put the website and follow us separate it in all my hashtags so some of the hashtags i will put was 2020 goals hair plugs video list like stuff that just that my business presented that offer to my customers Post it right here i just know like about how many people actually see that damn post was a hundred thousand that was just fucking crazy to me because i'm like this little fucking picture went viral and every single hashtag that i use on the picture since it got so many likes so many views so many comments i was always at the very top so when you click a hashtag it's it says top and it says recent so i went from being on the recent side to where you have to actually click to be on the top side that automatically shows you right when you click the hashtag and i was at the very top for my business so that's how hashtags brought me to today and today right now currently your girl your girl got three thousand and like 90 followers and i went from having a hundred in 2019 to having 3092 followers and i would have been at four thousand but you know you guys i took a break from the whole business life and i had to work on my studies of course so but i'm just i'm just living proof that hashtags work and it's hashtag and also another thing that worked i didn't mention but when i was in going from like when i when i hit like 800 900 i couldn't i couldn't hit a thousand and so i was so frustrated so in between like in my hundreds in my middle hundreds like i was around like 500 600 i had paid this one girl i'm not gonna say her name it was she was a youtuber and um her and her boyfriend did youtube and i paid her to do a little ad and that shit did not work and i was so pissed i paid her like 30 dollars and i was like i'll never do it again but then my favorite youtuber bougie barbie she always did promotions and i was like i don't know if i want to do it again because the last one didn't work so you know what i did differently i made sure like i gave her the bomb pictures i made sure i gave her some of my like little add pictures the ones i used to make like oh shop the boss fair way and they'll have like a picture of my product shop now or like it'll say like oh we having a sale i would give her that picture i would make the bomb ass caption and i did it for her and her promotions used to cost 20 dollars to be on her page 24 7 and she had she had like i think she has like 50k now or like she had like a lot of followers damn near a lot of followers so when i did it I, and then i was like the first ever first size that she promoted on her actual like business page so my shit was going crazy like she made me go from 900 to like a thousand and two hundred and i was just like whoa and then i started using her for like my vendor list so like people 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 started knowing me for vendor list because i used to pay her like every friday thursday I mean fridays and saturdays i used to pay her a little 20 dollars and be like here sis promote 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 and i always got my 20 dollars back every time i invested in it with her so that's another person i suggest if you want to you know have somebody promote your business and it doesn't cost a lot 30 dollars may seem like a lot but when you start getting sales 30 is not like a lot and it was never a lot to me. Well, twenty dollars when she had that twenty was never a lot to me because it's like if you believe in your brand, you need to invest in your brand. Period. You need to be all about your brand. Period. And money should not be a factor when it comes to your business. It's all in or nothing at all. So, 
that's just my little story on how I grew from 100 followers to 3,000. Period. We only going up from here, Boss Brat Collection. Period. And if you see another person with Boss Brat anything, no, it came from Nelly because I am the original Boss Brat. I'm tired of people stealing the name. No, Pooh. Accessories I've added accessories to the site. The site is now called Boss Brat Collection. It's no longer here. It's a whole collection out here, period. We're not playing. Look at the brand, period. Okay, but shop the Boss Brat way and you get 10% off your very first purchases only, you know, products, not the hair extensions, not yet. I'll be launching my lip gloss, which I have it on right now. So this is my lip gloss. Period. And I will be releasing that sometime next month, hopefully this month, but I'm not trying to rush anything. And take what I told you seriously. One, we learn hashtags. We learn that with hashtags, you need to be organized. Don't have your shit all over the place. That's no. Number two, with hashtags, make sure the hashtags pertain to your business. Don't be hashtagging something you don't sell. Because then when they click the hashtag, they're going to be like, she said it. I click lip gloss and she's showing me um, clothes. I don't want clothes. I want lip gloss. So, you know, don't fool your customers listening with your hashtags. Hashtag them out of each picture. Make sure you hit the maximum hashtag. Sometimes I go over my hashtag. They be like, only 30 hashtags. You hit the max hashtag you can use so you can get those insights up. You can get your likes up. Get your following up. Is what to invest in a good YouTuber or a good person that you, you know, believe that can help your business. Do not invest with these people who got hella followers, right? They got good following, but they followers are not active. They're not active. A YouTuber that does get you hella insights, hella sales, and just boosts your business is Bougie Barbie. Can y'all say with me? Bougie Barbie. Don't go out here. That's the only person I'm vouching for because these other people, they will take your money and post and not even post it right. Like, she lets, she, she just handles it so professional and her followers are very active and they support other black and other nationalities, don't get me wrong, because I'm, you know, I support people on it on her business, and I love it. So, um, yeah, that's the only tips I got for y'all today. I will be posting on how I rebranded my business, and you guys will get to see my thank you cards. These are my product tag cards, and my business card that I redid, my website. I will go into all of that, too. Business, because we're going to be going up right here. And I know y'all have been subscribing. Thank you. I love y'all guys. Please go back and watch my other video on how you can start your business with only a Benji. Yes. So go back. If you just clicked on this video just because of luck or... You know, you've been following me for a long time. Go back and watch that again and again and again. Share with your other fellow boss girls, boss women. Or comments. Y'all don't be commenting. Like, it's like the quiet for me. It's too much quiet. It needs to be noise. So, comment below on which you guys would love to see from me. I love sharing. So we going to get real close, Pooh. We going to build this million dollar business. Scratch that billion dollar business because we really work list babes, period. Or list base. That's probably what I'm gonna call you because that's what we about to get into. Period. We're our business. So um, again, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media page at Call Her Nelly. On my Twitter is Chanelli. On my business Facebook page is Boss Brat Way. Business Instagram is Boss Brat Collection. Website is BossBratCollection.com you guys thank you guys for coming back and watching and we out bye for this day